It's October 1993. I'm on the phone with my mom, who lives up in Chicago, and was living with my brother in Dallas. And we were having a conversation about my career. I had been in sales and marketing for 10 years. I did very well, but I was just not feeling very fulfilled. And she said to me, you know, sweetie, if you want to do something different, you probably have to go back to school. Which brings me back to my adolescence. I was teased when I was younger. I wasn't an obese child. I was a big girl. I was chunky and yeah, my brothers teased me. Uh, and my mom knew that it bothered me. So even though she didn't have a weight problem, we'd go on diets together, something with eggs and grapefruit and everything in between. When I got out eighth grade, she told me that she said, you know, I heard about this program and, um, and did I want to go? And I said, sure. So my mom drove me to my first Weight Watchers meeting. And that first week I lost six pounds, which I was just thrilled and everybody there too. They, they celebrated when you lost weight and they didn't celebrate so much when you didn't, but I don't think I, I ever gained weight. I mean, that whole time, that first time I was at Weight Watchers, I followed that program religiously. I didn't de deviate from it at all. Back then, the program was very different. You had to eat fruits and vegetables, so many servings every day. You had to eat so many grains every day. You, um, you couldn't eat beef more than three times a week. You had to eat fish so many times, and you had to force down liver once a week. <laughs> I forced down liver, oh my gosh. I tell you, I swear I was brainwashed. No liver, no weight loss. I still hate liver to this day but I was very successful. I was like the poster child for, for Weight Watchers because I was like 13 years old. And that started my journey with a whole lot of dieting over the years. I went to college, gained weight because typically you gain weight when you're in college. And through the years, through my 20s, it was either Weight Watchers or some other diet, but I'd feel be feeling bad about myself not happy and I think you know what I'm unhappy because of my weight if I lose weight I'll feel better so I would embark on some kind of a diet lose the weight restrict too much become deprived and end up then binging on the things that I was restricting myself and this went on over and over and over again through my 20s um, along the way, and what Weight Watchers did for me is that it taught me how much I love the subject of nutrition. I was like the go-to person for, for everybody I knew because they knew that I kept up on everything. Now, mind you, this was pre-internet, pre-Google. <laughs> so everything I was learning was from you know, popular magazines and, um, and popular nutrition books, mostly diet books. So that's where I was getting my information from. But I felt like I knew a lot. But I also was very confused because I was to a point where like one day I would hear what one supposed expert would say and I thought, well, that sounds reasonable. And then the next day I would hear something totally contradicting what I had just learned the day before from another expert. I didn't know what to believe. So, uh, which brings me to this conversation with my mom. Just a month before that, I had quit a nasty two pack a day smoking habit. Yes, and cigarettes, by the way, were $2.50 a pack. <laughs> I remember that. Now, I was not the poster child for quitting smoking. That's a whole other story, but I did quit. And on this conversation with my mom, she said, you know, sweetie, if you want to do something different, you probably have to go back to school. And the next words out of my mouth were like, if I were to go back to school, I'd study nutrition. And that was it. It was like the fireworks went off, you know, that light bulb over your head. And so that spring, I enrolled at Texas Women's University, which just happened to be right up the road. I got my master's in exercise and sports nutrition in 1997, went on to become a registered dietitian nutritionist and subsequently a certified health coach. Along the way, I realized you know what? Nutrition is confusing. It is not so black and white. <laughs> There's a whole lot of gray in here, which um, really can be frustrating at times, and I understand that. 
But, you know, nutrition is, is a science. Um, it's a very young science. First vitamin wasn't discovered till like the early 1900s. So, so yeah, so it's ever evolving. We're learning all the time. So I learned that and I also, along the way in my journey, I learned to that being healthy and happy and comfortable and confident and having the energy that I wanted wasn't about being that perfect weight, that goal weight that Weight Watchers had set for me, which by the way, was insanely low. <laughs> and it wasn't about good foods and bad foods. It wasn't about cheat meals and cheat days, which I just loathe that terminology. It's about empowerment and guilt-free eating, freedom with the foods that I eat and with the body that I inhabit. That's what it's about. It's about nutrition you can live with. And what I do today is I help people, mostly women over the age of 40, I help them also develop a healthy relationship with food. And I do that through my coaching program, my, um, my uh, writing, my speaking, social media, and of course my YouTube channel. If you like what you heard, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this and also leave me a, a comment. And does this information resonate with you at all? I'd like to know. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.